another wig for you guys something super quick and easy to work with this is a 250 density lace wig you guys usually they come in like 100 to 180 but this is 250 density so it's going to give you the look of doing your very own unit but without all the hassle of sewing that unit together so before we get into the video please make sure you do give it a thumbs up while you're at it make sure you subscribe to the channel click that bell so you get notified whenever i upload a new video in this little plastic bag um here is the curl pattern of it very beautiful body wave texture beautiful beautiful hair so here's what we have on the inside here we have four clips i'm going to take well not clips combs i'm going to take that middle comb out because i'm going to bleach my knots and i don't want that in the way here is how I like to have my bleach, very like pasty type of texture, and I do use the um, butter knife method to apply it. So I'm just showing you guys here that I removed the comb. So now that we're done, I've tinted my lace also, so you can see that brown shade. Girl, yes, your girl's getting more professional with the wig making. But um, here's what it looks like after I've done everything I need to do. I uh, pluck the hairline and all that good stuff so now I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to lay the um, hairline here I'm just using a little bit of got to be glue in my hot comb and we're going to go ahead and you know slay them edges honey So another thing that I love about this hair other than the density is that it has a lot of parting space. I think about six inches towards the middle. So I did do a long middle part. So if you're uh, one of those girls out there that loves to have that long deep middle part, this is going to be perfect for you. So of course I'm going to lay it down using my um, hot comb. And yeah, she is ready to be curled. So I'm going to use a little bit of heat protectant. And I'm going to go in with my um, wand curler. Sorry if I'm doing all these arms today. I don't know why. My words just not coming out right today. But yes, I'm going to go ahead and wand curl all of the lower portion of the hair. You can see that I'm just doing like the bottom half of the hair. So I am done curling up the hair. This is what it looks like. Very pretty. You can tell this is some good hair, you guys. Beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and brush through it because I want to have nice, soft, wavy hair. Look at that. That is so pretty. And to set it in place, I'm going to use my Got To Be Glue um, setting spray. And yeah, I think she's ready to be put on my head. I'm ready to try this thing on, you guys. So I'm going to apply it using my Got To Be Glue spray. And I added my little scarf to hold it down for about 20 minutes. And now she is laid, honey. Laid, laid, laid. So now I want to go ahead and work on that parting area because you can see that it needs to stand out just a little bit more. So I'm going to use a little bit of foundation on that. Just like so. That's all I did. Very beautiful. I kind of wanted to comb out those edges because I think it looks better, you know, just laid naturally like that. I'm gonna try it behind my ears to see how that looks. I think that's really beautiful also. Give that nice, slick, middle part look. Beautiful, you guys. I can't say beautiful enough because this hair is just, oh my God, it's just blowing my mind. I'm just loving the way it takes the curl. I'm loving the way everything is looking. Let's get into the slate drum.
So you made it to the end. Thanks for sticking around with me and watching the full video. If you did like it, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can see all my latest videos. And since you're here with me, I mean, why not go ahead and check one of these videos out? You just go ahead and click one of those and see what's going on in those videos. <laughs> and I will see you guys in my next one.